थर्मस फ्लास्क अ थर्मस फ्लास्क मेंटेन्स द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सब्सटेंस प्रेजेंट इन इट इट कीप्स हॉट थिंग्स हॉट एंड कोल्ड थिंग्स कोल्ड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम दिस इज अचीव्ड बाय मिनिमाइजिंग द एक्सचेंज ऑफ हीट बाय कंडक्शन कन्वेक्शन एंड रेडिएशन लेट एस सी इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रिंसिपल a thermos flask consists of a double walled glass bottle glass is chosen as the material for making thermos flask because it is a bad conductor of heat there is an insulating material in between the metal container and glass bottle the surface of double walled glass bottle is silvered like a mirror this is done to reduce the transfer of heat by radiation you know that a shiny surface is a bad absorber and also bad reflector of heat all the air is evacuated from the space between the two walls of the glass bottle to prevent the transfer of heat by conduction and convection you know conduction and convection cannot take place in vacuum a plastic stopper is fitted in the mouth of the flask and a plastic cap is screwed over this stopper this is done to reduce conduction of heat as plastic is a bad conductor of heat the glass bottle is held inside the metal case with the help of cork pieces this is done to prevent transfer of heat by conduction as cork is a bad conductor of heat a hot liquid remains hot and a cold liquid remains cold inside the thermos flask for a long time what can be the reason behind this as there is no medium in the vacuum between the two bottles no transfer of heat occurs by conduction and convection similarly radiant heat is reflected back inside from the shiny surfaces also as glass and plastic are bad conductors of heat regular transfer heat into or out of the bottle thus no heat is transfer into or out of the bottle as a result temperature is maintained